Hey everyone, this is the Scott Man. We're live here at the uh, Fort McHenry National Monument. So right now we're standing in the in the area where it was a huge battleground for the War of 1812. Although the, although it mainly took place around here on September 13th, 1814, the British already captured a Bladensburg or Bladenburg to the south as well as Washington DC and they're getting ready to come up here to try to take over Baltimore however the British actually failed as they actually ran out of ammo and unfortunately we can't really see the fort itself from these trees but when we go around we'll definitely be able to see it a little bit better let's head over to the head over to the harbor oh we have a beautiful view of the of the harbor over here going over into downtown Baltimore so downtown Baltimore is actually out that way and a little bit stretching all the way over there Yeah, this fetch takes you out over to the uh, Patapsco River, which goes right into the Chesapeake Bay. And kind of like where that sailboat is, that's where Interstate 95 takes a tunnel, the Fort McHenry Tunnel, underneath the underneath the channel here, and then comes back out over there and continues its way up toward Philadelphia and New York City. And then further over there is the is the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which carries Interstate 695 across. Got some pretty cool ships over there too. They have quite spectacular. We're gonna make our way over toward the fort itself now. Oh, really quick, here is a very historic sailboat floating right right next to us sort of I'm kind of zoomed in a little bit yeah, you can see a bunch of people on the on the ship over there yeah it looks better zoomed in a little bit yeah there we go Pretty cool. And we have made it into the main part of the fort. You can actually see the, see a very close replica of the old flag that was, that was risen right after the end of the battle. According to a sign I actually saw over there, this is actually the largest one they had, which is actually, this is the closest to the original. Actually, a whole bunch of cannon displays. So, a little quick history background. As I mentioned, this was a yeah, this was a very important battle for the for the Americans, as the British were basically coming more and more into the United States around September 13, 19, uh, 19 uh, 1814. They actually built Fort Mc, uh, Fort McHenry to protect Baltimore and it definitely did during the night of the, thir night of the 13th. The, Brit the British kept their distance and stuff and tried to, try to fire on toward the fort but they were too far and they kept missing because they were very intimidated by all the cannon displays here. <laughs> and then by daybreak as they, as they actually ran out of ammo they they made the retreat from here. As a matter of fact, on a boat around here, uh, a guy named Francis Scott Key actually was on a boat and he saw the bombs bursting in the air and stuff. And then by dawn's early light, with the victory, in, with the victory, the, the the Americans raised this flag. Well, not the one right in front of us, but. This was kind of like a replica of it, and, and, oh, 
Oh wow, a lot of people coming in. <laughs> and anyway, so Francis Scott Key actually saw the flag go up and so impressed by it. That's where we got the United States National Anthem, the, if I can talk, <laughs> the Star Spangled Banner. All right, let's go check out the fort. We're in the main compound of the of the fort. You can see like the captain's quarters, all the different buildings, including like the like the soldiers' barracks and stuff like that. And also, and also the also the the American flag right there, or at least well, a replica of the flag that was. Flying at the end of the battle on eight, the morning of September 14th, 1814, when uh, the fort was commanded by George Armistead, and they successfully held off a British attack for about 25 hours, as, as the British had a huge navy fleet on the uh, on the Patapsco River, and. Basically, they could not last the entire the entire battle and eventually retreated. But it was it was definitely a, a huge victory for for the Americans here during the Battle of Baltimore, which basically t helped turn the tide of the rest of the War of 1812. Is eventually we had the last big battle of the whole war down at New Orleans. All right, before we close up today's video, I'm actually gonna head on to the top of the fort. Now here's a great view of the Star Spangled Banner right there. Over there you can actually see the main part of downtown Baltimore over there. Very nice view of the, uh, of the Patapsco River. But yeah, it's like it's, it's like just imagine seeing a bunch of Navy ships all the way out there because that's exactly what it was like. As a matter of fact, it'd be 200 years this upcoming September that the Battle of Baltimore took, took place. So it's been almost 200 years ago. Just imagine that. With all the different cannon displays that we have over here. a boat coming into the harbor and another, actually quite a bit of them but yeah Fort McHenry is definitely a pretty cool national landmark to visit as a matter of fact although its main importance was defending successfully defending Baltimore during the near the end of the war of 1812 it actually was used later on one as a as a Union stronghold during the Civil War, actually held captive Confederate soldiers and other alliances with the with the Confederacy. And also during during a little bit after World War One, actually was used as like a hospital and surgeon center for soldiers. Yep, the, the whole harbor and Patapsco River is quite beautiful here. You can even see the you can see the Francis Scott Key Bridge all the way over there. But yeah, definitely make sure to check out oh perfect view of the four from kinda like how you would see it up close from the from the water. Anyway, Fort McHenry is definitely a great place to visit. Yeah, definitely, definitely worth the money to come here. To learn a lot more about Battle of Baltimore, Battle of Baltimore by coming to this fort than you can learn in any history book. Well, this concludes today's video here at Fort McHenry National Historic Monument. And instead of saying my normal, this is the Scott Man signing out message, I'm gonna say the following instead. Oh, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land 
of the free and the home of the brave.